Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. And I'll Shalom to the whole elect that's uh, continually plowing, that's giving all diligence and all faith, true sincerity in doing his work. All right. Now, the, uh, the topic of this video, man, is going to be a response to the, the brother uh, Kazak's live stream, which he recently did earlier today. Um, addressing this guy that goes by the name of Lies of the Devil. You know, that's his channel name, which which is ironic. You know, because if you go to his channel, you know, he has a a video put up with, when he uh, went up to, to attempt to confront the brothers that was in Charlotte. All right. And, you know, he was basically saying that, oh, we're, we're part of Antifa that, you know, we set up, we, we're, you know, we're part of the reason why Antifa was set up. And, um, he also went on to say that, you know, we're, we're, we're one of the reasons why, you know, America is racist, so to speak, you know, from what I gathered when I, when I saw the video and, um, the main point behind this video is that the Lord himself is racist. The one you enter to call Jesus, he's racist. The one you call God or Jehovah or whatever, whatever name that you, that your um, you've been taught in this world. He's also racist. All right. Because he's only dealing with the nation of Israel. He's not dealing with any other nation, but the nation of Israel. All right. He's always dealt with the nation of Israel and he always is going to deal with the, with the nation of Israel. He doesn't change. All right. That's a that's a question I like to pose to you on uh, the ones that call yourself Christian because you got your name lies of the devil, right? And you got these other videos put up. I mean, I, I see the other videos that, that you got put up, right? Um, which, um, you know, you call yourself a Christian. All right. And which we already know that you, you were set up, man. You were an agent because the brothers already exposed you of being an agent. All right. You set up to... Uh, to cause uh, a disturbance to uh, get those brothers out of the spirit, just like the rest of you other guys that call yourself Christians, you you know you uh you say certain things or you try to provoke us to uh, get out of the spirit and to be carnal, but we already found you out, man, through the spirit of you. How about Shemion Shai? We know what you're about. We know that Esau set you up, and um, just like the rest of the guys that came before you, all right, because you're not the first. All right, to uh, do things like this or to do stuff like this to try to provoke us. You're not the first, man. So, and we already know that you won't be the last. All right. So you can try whatever you can, but it's not gonna work. All right. But um, getting back to the topic, man. The Lord is racist, man. All right. So with that, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get the scriptures, and, and there's plenty of scriptures through, uh, uh, throughout the Bible that tells you, or uh, uh, points to the fact that the Most High is racist, man. All right, but yet, you know, you got guys like that, Bocab Malone, Jesus is the word, Jada producer, and G man, guys like that, they want to be for everybody, man. All right, they're still on that, they're still on that spirit of, of John 3:16, which they don't even know what that means. All right. But this is Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. It says, "For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself." And get this, it says, "Above all people that are upon the face of the earth." What does that sound like? That sounds like a racist statement to me. All right, the same Bible that you read out of this is this is a racist statement, man. All right. And we didn't make this up. You know, we didn't sit in the in, you know, in the closet space or in the basement, you know, and, and, and thought thought this up. It's right here written in black and white, man. I'll read it again. It says, For thou art and holy people unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. The Lord thy power hath chosen me thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the nation of Israel, and this is talking about the nation of Israel, this is in the book of Deuteronomy, which the book of Deuteronomy means uh, the second book of the law and the law was only given to the nation of Israel there was no other nation that was with us when we came out came out of Egypt 
All right, it was only the Israelites. All right. Now I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna get the book of Psalms, chapter 147. Uh, let's see. Bear me for one second. The Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Man, these are basic scriptures, man. But we got, but we got to go back over the basics for these knuckleheads, man. All right. And for the guys that may that may, may be uh, may come up against us, and the ones that are coming up against us, man, because these the basic scriptures was it, it were custom to the soul, man. All right, why is that? Because the basic scriptures get straight to the point. All right, because if we try to bring out something too heavy for them, man, they'll bug the hell out. All right, because they can't understand it in the first place, man. All right, this is Psalm chapter one forty seven verse nineteen. It says, "He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel." All right, he hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for the judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh by Hashem Shai. So he's saying, man, he hasn't dealt with any other nation, man. If and, and other nations don't don't know his judgments, right? because he didn't show it to him, he only showed it to the nation of Israel. That's why he said he showed this word unto Jacob, and the statute and his judgments unto Israel. All right, let's grab another precept. All right, uh, where is it? Romans chapter, the chapter, uh, chapter nine, and I'm gonna start at verse. Uh, shoot, I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, "I say the truth in Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart." For I wish that myself were accursed from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen. Now they talk about uh, Paul being a Greek, right? You know they, they always say, "Oh, well, well, Paul was a Greek." You know, he, well, you don't understand. Paul was a Greek citizen, man. It doesn't mean that he was a Greek, all right? He had Greek citizenship. Okay, he was able to speak Greek. Okay. Barina says, For I wish that I myself were a curse from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. What's that mean? Talking about his bloodline. All right. His his physical bloodline. His brother is his, his, his kinsman, man, his nation. Okay. Verse 4. He says, Who are Israelites? Did it say did it say uh, Edomites? No. Did it say Elamites? E uh, Ethiopians, Cushites? Hamites? No, man. It says Israelites. All right. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Oh, the adoption. Wait a second. I thought they were saying that the adoption was talking about all the nations. I thought that all the nations was supposed to be adopted to this thing. No, it says who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption. Right. That's why it said there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. All right. Because back then you had the Gentiles. Right. Which were Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites. Just how you have today. You have so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that don't know who they are, man. And they call themselves those, those different proverbs and bywords. Those different aliases, as you call them. Or you, or you may call them. Because they don't know who they are. Just how they would call themselves Romans and Philippians, Corinthians, Ephesians, Galatians, Thessalonians. The same thing applies today, man. All right. Once again, it says, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the most high and the promises. Oh, the promises. The promises weren't given unto, unto all the other nations. All right. If you go into the book of Galatians, chapter three, you know, um, those the poor child being passes, you know, butcher that that precept, man, the butcher that scripture where it speaks about um, where concerning Abraham and his seed. All right, and they think that's talking about all the all the other nations, but that's not what it's talking about. It's talking about Isaac, and through the line Isaac came Jacob, and then out of Jacob came the the, uh, the twelve patriarchs, which uh, made up the, make up the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, because each tribe of Israel became a nation. All right, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, all the way down to Issachar. All right, why is that? Because we're we're at the center of the sea, so one tribe can be considered a nation. Right, because we're so we're so many. Okay, and there's another one. Well, I, well, I might as well jump down. Verse thirteen. It says, "As it is written." All right, go to Book of Malachi. 
That's what it's talking about. If you want to see what's written, all right, as it is written in the book of Malachi, chapter one, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What's that talking about? I mean, you can't get any clearer than that, man. Jacob, which represents the nation of Israel, and Esau represents the nation of Edom. All right, Israel is the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Edom is the so-called white man. That's why it's always been a confrontation between Jacob and Esau, the nation, the nation of Israel, and the nation of Edom, because that same hatred is is was well rooted and is is uh, made manifest today, man. And it's always it's always been around, man. All right, and it's going to be like that until we take their pale flesh asses into the slavery. Okay. Now let's grab uh let's see, there's another precept that I had. You know, Satan. You know, I, I had it um loaded up and ready. Oh, uh, yeah, Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty. After this, I'm gonna get second Idris. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse, um, let's see, verse 15. To behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and I count it as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. Nor the beast there are sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. All right, what's vanity means? Worthless. All right, what's that sound like? That sounds like a racist statement to me, doesn't it? Of course it is, because like I said before, the Most High is racist, the Lord is racist, Yahweh Shai is racist. All right, that's why we're racist. All right, and there's nothing wrong with that, man. All right, it's nothing wrong with being racist. Racist means for your race. All right, that's what the word racist mean. Okay, it only, it simply means for your for your race. That's it. That's why you have white supremacists. All right, which they're for their nation. Okay, and then you have so-called black supremacists. They're for their nation, man. Like uh, like the uh, the Black Panther Party. All right, and others that are under that umbrella. Okay, but we here we don't we don't judge by the color of the skin, man. All right, because we know it's by the spirit. That's what the, and that's what this guy lies of the devil failed to fail to uh, realize is that we have brothers that are that are uh, would be considered so called white people, but uh, according to their fathers, their bloodline they're Israelites. All right, even though they may look like Edomites, they're not. They're Israelites. All right, like I said before, man, it's by a bloodline. All right, because it's the spirit. Actually, let me get it real quick um, before I grab a second interest. It should be uh, Romans chapter eight. Uh, let's see, let's skip all the way down. This is uh, Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. It says the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high who are the children of the most high israelites hebrew israelites we are the children of the most high man all right so the spirit bear witness that we're the children of the most high that's how we know that by that by his spirit his bloodline goes back to israel okay Now I want to go off from there. I want to, um, well, I had it, I had it up. Um, let's see. Damn. Uh, bear me for one second. I can. Actually, I got my um, I got my my sword on me. Let me see if I can grab it. I can I can read it from here. 
should be second Ezra chapter um, nine. Uh, let's see. No, not second Ezra chapter nine. It's like you. Right. Uh, second Ezra chapter nine. And this is at verse. Uh, let me take it out the screen. Put it back on this 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 devil. Yeah, <laughs> lies of the devil. Yeah, good name, man. That's, that's a great name because yeah, you you're 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 the epitome of of what you just put on your channel. Lies lies of the devil, man. That's you in a nutshell. All right. The second Ezra chapter uh, six, verse. Uh, verse 54 it says and after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures of him come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen so and then afterwards right it says in verse 55 because it gets more specific it says all this have I spoken before thee O Lord because thou madest the world for our sakes whose sakes the Israelites all right does that, does that sound like a, a equal equal statement all this, this is was the world made for the sakes of all the nations? No, it was only made for the sakes of the Hebrew Israelites, who are the children of the Most High, like we just read earlier. Verse 56 As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Let me read that again. As for the other people which also come of Adam, the other nations, right? Thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So that hits the point, man. That that uh, I'm gonna drop the uh, you know I'm drop the mic on that, man. This that that hits the point on the head. All right, he said he considered the other nations as nothing, but it's like spit, like a like a spit that when you spit on the ground and you stomp it out. All right, you don't care about that, and you don't. And then when you, when you uh, have a drop of water right that, that fall from a bucket, you don't go back to get get that drop. You don't you know cry over that drop of water that you just dropped out of that bucket. I mean, you just keep going, man. All right, that's how the Lord, the Most High, the God of the Bible, whom you claim that you worship, that you read about every every Sunday, this is what He says. This is His words, and He never changed. All right. So to you. Lies of the devil and the others, the ones, the ones of you that I set up, you agents that sent out to the camps, all right, that try to provoke us. Hey, we are, we already know what you're about, man. All right, but this is to address, you know, him saying, you know, claiming that you know, we're racist. Well, yeah, yeah, we are racist. All right, just like, just like how your people are racist. All right, it's like call, it's like a, the 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 pot that called the kettle black. All right. But that pretty much is the point, man. Um, once again, you know, guys like this and other agents, they're going to show up to the camp like the brother Kazak brought out in the live stream. And we already ready for it, man. You know, we're prepared and we already know what spirit to be in when we see this, man. And, um, you know, we had a, us us in the camp. You know, we had uh, a run in with an agent. You know, he didn't walk up to the camp, but, you know, he... He used uh, uh, how should I put it? He used certain devices, so to speak, to uh, you know keep tabs on us. But we already know that man. He you know that's that's not the only time that he's been out there. He's been out there multiple times. He had guys sent out there to act like you know regular guys walking down the street. You know he had guys and you know vehicles that passed by us and you know multiple times, five, six, seven times. You know take pictures and stuff like that so we already know man we already know esau is is, is trying is, is uh ready to make moves on us man all right and we're ready for it so with that once again man i want to give all praise on and glory to you how about shimmy all shy double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that continually rule very well and our peace and safety to the whole field elect that's uh continually doing his work ahead strong giving giving all diligence and all faith true sincerity and with that i'm gonna say shalom